I waited so long for these DIY kits and it's finally here. Um, I also found out why thanks to my friend Leslie. It turns out I had been leaving all these items in the warehouse for like 66 days because I thought they were still in lockdown but it's just that I didn't send like submit it to the ship or submit it to the plane and it has incurred quite a bit of cost but it's okay. Better late than never. So we're going to dive into the first one. I have three sets of DIY kits and um, this is going to be the video that you're watching today. So it brings you straight to a website and over here there's different crafts that they also sell in this Taba shop. And once you get in, everything is in Chinese. I'm not very good at reading Chinese, that's why my stuff was stuck in the warehouse for 66 days. There's a video available as well. But once you start the video, I cannot like forward, neither can I return and watch from the start again. So for example, if I want to see a little bit more in the instruction video, I have to literally sit through from the start of the video all the way to the end. So I would say that's the downside of it. Anyways, let's dive into knife painting. Here are all the materials that came together in the kit. And I chose the whale one swimming in the sky with the moon. It came with a picture as well, which was really great because I'm going to have to trace this on top of this tile. But one thing to note though, my tile is a little bit stained. It's got like some mold on it, I think. Um, but it's okay because the paint is going to cover it anyway, so no biggie. So I'm going to put the tracing ink thing, trace the artwork on top so I know how to paint and I'm quite excited because they gave me quite a selection of colors and they also gave me this fragrance that I'm not too sure um, what do I do with it? I don't need my artwork to smell good. Um, it says wild bluebell. It's the flower. It smells quite nice. So I might add a few drops into that but first off we need to trace this and get this imprinted onto the tile. Well they did use the paintbrush so let's see if the paintbrush actually works. You can also use a pencil so that way you will know which images has been traced and which ones hasn't um, instead of using a paintbrush because you'll always have to flip it to refer it and sometimes you might risk moving the images as well. Just a little sneak peek and oops, I forgot the eye. <laughs> there we go, the eye's in place now. I did forget one more line but it's okay because I can always edit in later on. So next, we want to prepare the mud and the cup along with some water. And with the spatula provided or the knife provided, we're going to mix the mud and the water together. I've realized that the consistency was always better to under mix and make it really thick because once you add acrylic paint to it, it actually thins out a lot more. Also, the tile was really shiny and slippery so the brush was just moving the paste around. So I figured we should paint one layer first so it has something to cling on. And if you look at this corner here, it was starting to build some texture because it could cling on to something. And I knew that I had to paint one even layer all across the tile first and then slowly move on to the texturing later on. And if you think you've made too runny of a paste to paint with, don't worry because once you apply a blob of it on your tile, you can wait for it to dry a little bit before going back in to give it more texture. So here I am waiting for the paste to dry up and I'm going to go back in with some texturing because right now it doesn't look that good. I went on to the moon next and this was super tricky because it's got like this crescent pointy ends and somehow it didn't quite look like a crescent anymore and I had to like shuffle in some of the paste to keep it nice and round on the edges. And next I was going to move on to the clouds and I got the perfect consistency. I wanted the clouds to hold its shape but when I added the paint, it thinned it out a lot more. So here's a reminder, if you want to make the paste very sculptable, you probably want to add lesser water and then add the paint so that you will know which consistency works better for you. So at 
at this point my camera died and I didn't realize so I actually finished my background and I moved on to the whale and by this time the clouds were fully dry and perfect for me to go in and sculpt and give them more fluffiness And don't forget the eye! With the knife, I'm going in with the lines on the belly of the whale. And I realized it looked really flat, so I wanted to give it some dimension by adding some darker colors and some highlighted pink clouds from the sunset. This really helped to bring more depth into this little piece of knife painting. And there we have it! This was honestly a very easy DIY kit to execute. If somehow you can manage to find like this size tiles or these type of easels, then you can actually get your friends to all come together and create more than one because there's a lot of leftover materials that you can actually use. So I actually found this from Daiso and there's two, four, six pieces of wooden blocks. And that would be great because you can just find six more friends and you have your own time. Overall, very easy, um, non-dangerous DIY kit and craft to do and I highly recommend it. I will also put the link to this DIY kit in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give this video a like and I will see you guys very soon. Take heart, be kind and I'll see you next time. Bye!